good and loving God, full of joy and hope, we humbly ask that you bless the graduating class of 2024 and all those who have helped us reach this remarkable milestone. We thank you for our parents, friends, and classmates, Kasha Hall's wonderful faculty and staff, and those who have sent us their love. Let us never forget the friendships we made here, the reason we made them, and where we can take them. In the words of St. Augustine, trust the past to the mercy of God, the present to his love, and the future to his providence. Heavenly Father, give us courage to face a new challenge each day. Give us kindness to help those around us. Give us strength to do our best. And most importantly, give us faith to live out your word, our God. From the beginning, senior year has been a season of lasts. Last games and papers, last proms and exams. Even the first day of school was ceremoniously labeled the last first day and the beginning of the end. We hold these lasts in such high esteem for a reason. Some of our most formative years have been spent here. From entering the daunting Hogwarts-esque towers as a tiny sixth grader with a backpack half her size, to standing here before you in my graduation regalia, I can truly say that my time at Kasha has been one of growth. These halls have shaped us, maturing from unruly middle schoolers to leaders of the student body. As middle schoolers and underclassmen, we never realized how little time we had together. We knew we would graduate and go to college someday, but it was hard to realize how quickly it would be here. We are now at the point we have always dreamed of, where our lasts have come to an end. The last first day of school, the last game, match, or meet of our high school sports careers, last senior events, and our last day of school at Kasha. Hector Misael Enriquez. Kylie Brooke Connor. Daniel Joseph Jarrett. Thomas Parker Westbrock. Although it can be sad to look back on the memories we've made here and with each other, we also have an exciting future full of firsts ahead of us. Let us recall these former times and the great memories, but with an eye to the future, knowing that this is only life's title page. Remember the good, the bad, and how blessed we were to have this short time together at this great institution. I know that this is a farewell address, but as we go forth into this world, let us not say to each other farewell. We are not ready to do so. Farewell is the last goodbye. It demands that the parties accept finality to the parting. Farewell is permanent. It's the last blessing upon a friend that we never expect to see again. So let us say no to farewell, but yes to goodbye. Why goodbye? Goodbye is the abbreviated form of God bless you, which was the shortened version of the phrase, God be with you until we meet again. So goodbye, my friends, and goodbye to our beloved Kasha. The ties that bind us together will always transcend the distances of our separation. Have faith in yourself, in your peers, and most of all, in God, that this goodbye will be temporary. Take solace in the truth that God will never leave us nor forsake us. He's the God who never tells his children farewell. Today, prepare your heart and embrace the courage to walk the path that God has set before you, and the courage to humbly ask for His help and forgiveness when you may stray. Let this not be a time of mourning for what has passed, but a celebration of the life that is to come. And so, my friends, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. Goodbye, class of 2024, until we meet again. <laughs>